What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTB video and today we're going to be diving right into the Season 8 Courtside Report to see what kind of content we've got coming this Friday. Let's get right to it. You guys can see Shaquille O'Neal is going to be highlighting all this. That's going to be very interesting. End game Shaq, that would be nasty. At point guard, even crazier. But uh, Season 8, Shaquille O'Neal shattered backboards and expectations on his way to becoming an all-time great. Now it's your turn to chase perfection and glory in season eight so it looks like they're bringing the word glory back once again okay that I, i'm kind of messing with that card art i can't really zoom in too much on it but i'm assuming they'll show us something a little bit better later on shaq's looking like a king there though kind of gives me the vibe of the 2k18 um legend edition but we don't talk about that game for 20 years on the court, Shaq embodied greatness, harnessing and unleashing a rare combination of raw athleticism and finesse to dominate the hardwood. So this really isn't too much information. Y'all can pause if you need to read this. I'm not too worried about it. All new My Career updates. We're going to skip past that. End game in my team, which we've kind of already seen a little bit of in 2K22. End game has officially arrived in my team at the end of last season. My team's best cards rose to a new level with the likes of the great Magic Johnson, Scotty Barnes, we already know, the dominant champ Will Chamberlain, and one of the cover athletes, Dirk, to use these uber powerful cards. If you missed the announcement, these end game cards are cut above the cut above. Okay, all the attributes, all 80 badges, and then the craziest animations. We know about all this. The first endgame card we need to talk about is the level 40 reward, two-time MVP, Jokic. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. The back-to-back -back MVP's abilities already go well beyond what is expected. This is why 99 Jokic is going to be playing point guard. Oh, man, it's officially begun point guard Jokic to start season eight yeah this is gonna be a crazy summer boys so whether you choose to have the mvp lead from the point or the paint end game Jokic can outdo the competition at both positions at this point guys if you have end game magic johnson i heavily advise you go ahead and sell that card now this summer test your best lineup in the best of tier in domination 33 games against the best releases in 2k22's my team face the nba 75 cards get through a bunch of things and the reward is gonna be end game james harden i've been waiting for a new james harden card and you mean to tell me that's the only way i'm gonna be able to get it oh uh, that is definitely gonna be tough but that is a dub reward I like that. Keep in mind, all these endgame cards, guys, they're going to be usable because they're all broken no matter how tall they are. But finally, clutch time. My team's newest mode continues to deliver exciting moments. 14 second shot clock. Complete the 10 10 win tiers. And the end game for this season is going to be Chris Weber in clutch time. I mean, one thing you got to keep in mind, guys, is that all these cards are going to be great. They're all end game cards. So basically, just think about if the player model is good, the card's going to be good. So Harden's going to be legit. This Chris Webber is going to be pretty legit. Look for two more 99 overall cards on your way to that 100. There's going to be a Dark Matter Jalen Rose. So that's not going to be, you know, an end game card. But the fact that it's a Dark Matter, still a dub. Depends on if you can play point guard. And then Invincible Mark Eaton. That's actually going to be a pretty legit card at the center or power forward spot. 99 everything on a 7 foot 2, 7 foot 3 big man. Definitely nothing to complain about. Yes, even with the end game here, invincible cards are not to be ignored to start your season 8 journey. You start things off with a dark matter, invincible Isaiah Thomas. So this is basically what they did last year, no? We got that invincible Isaiah to kick things off. Hey, I'm not complaining. Anything free, especially if it's invincible, is a good thing. Even though he's tiny, I'm still going to have fun with that card. One of the top leaders to ever play in the NBA is ready to captain your lineup. Joining Zeke. Oh, this is actually Isaiah Thomas. I thought it was the Celtics Isaiah Thomas, not the Pistons. I apologize. Both are still tiny, but... That's definitely an improvement. Uh, the following players will also be able to receive invincible cards in Season 8. Grant Hill in the Galaxy Opal tier. That's actually a dub. Pete Maravich is a card so many people have been waiting for. I guarantee you this one's probably going to be the most popular mode going into the next season. Obviously, people will still play Clutch Time because there's a free endgame card in there. But Pete Maravich for Triple Threat, big dub. 
triple threat wins it's up to 2000 now i am so behind but it's gonna be dominique wilkins in the vault we got ourselves an elgin baylor anyone that wants to put together an all-time lakers squad there you go and then ascension still sucks daryl dawkins but at least now it's an invincible card in the draft they got jerry west promise you not many people are going to be touching that i likely will because i'm going to need them for the all-time lakers team and then the token reward has a free julius irving in there i am currently sitting on like 5,000 tokens this is definitely something i'm looking forward to spending it on as we enter the summer months my team draft will see a major update for the featured pack at the launch of season eight starting friday all new drafts will receive three dark matter cards from the featured pack to lead your lineups that's a dub thank you i mean should have spiced it up a little bit earlier than this but it's all good new cards will still be eligible to be drafted to your lineups yada 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 so it just looks like you're going to be guaranteed three dark matters when you do the draft now definitely not too shabby a decade of my team one more thing this is a special summer for us as we conclude 10 memorable years of my team since the modes debut there have been many iconic player cards so in season 8's pack market we will be focusing on some of the players who have made the biggest impact on the my team community through the years okay is there like a little video for it nope it, it's really just Shaq. it's gonna be kobe hey if we get a froby i like it to tip this off we're highlighting the legendary duo of kobe and Shaq. starting on friday over a dozen dark matter versions of kobe and Shaq will be made available from end game and new invincible cards to special insert versions of community favorite releases nba 75 cards and more Plus, we're introducing a new theme, My Team Anniversary. Wow, okay. Introducing a new theme in July is nuts, but the 20 My Team Anniversary cards being released this season will find their way into new collections. 10 players representing the East, 10 in the West. Complete these collections for an end game option pack featuring player cards released in Season 8. As always, stay tuned on the My Team Twitter account for early reveals on these releases as well as locker codes, latest news surrounding my team. Okay, so I'm not going to lie to you guys, Season 8 actually looks like it's going to be a dub. Now, obviously, people aren't going to be playing as much because we're going into the summer, but for those of you that are, I honestly don't think these rewards are too bad. Very excited about the fact that the level 40 reward is going to be by far the best point guard in the game it looks like i mean we're looking at a seven foot point guard nikola Jokic. but again it depends on what kind of content we're going to be seeing this friday i still like the fact that Jokic is going to be a free point guard he's going to have all the best animations of the game so no matter how old he ends up being it's not going to be an l i'm really looking forward to getting this james harden card as soon as possible chris weber is going to be fun i mean there's so much content that i really might have to start streaming in season eight who knows but isaiah thomas that's cool you just get that for playing grant hill i don't know if people will want to play it as much I, I honestly believe that if you have pete maravich in unlimited people would want to play it more but pete maravich is a card we've been waiting on for a while this whole kobe and shaq thing though i'm very interested to see how this plays out because there's gonna be a bunch of different cards for them from end games to invincibles and then different kind of card arts for them so they're just letting it fly with the Kobe and Shaq love. If we see a Froby, if we see all these different player models for Kobe, though, that's going to end up being a big dub. Like Team USA Kobe, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, top to bottom, I'm fairly impressed with what I'm seeing, especially for the end of the year. Usually they, you know, start not to care as much and just kind of throw whatever invincibles they can and then throw crazy cards in packs. But this is pretty legit. I think it's actually pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what packs we also get on Friday. I am going to be gone for this weekend, so I won't be able to get you guys as much content as I'd like. But next week, guys, we are definitely going to be grinding a lot of this stuff out. Let me know in the comments, guys, what card are you looking forward to securing first? Do you think this season is a dub or an L? And let me know why. But uh, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching yet another video. If you all enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. And for you new viewers, man, sub up. We're on that grind to 400K. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, and take care.